It's been just a little over 48 hours since that devastating earthquake struck and hope is fading in Italy. With each passing hour, less of a chance that more people will be pulled out alive. The death toll is climbing at more than 280 right now. And more than a thousand aftershocks have hindered rescue crews since the quake struck on Wednesday. The biggest in Amatrice, the town at the epicenter. Kate Parkinson is there and explains how rescue efforts are progressing. Rescue efforts in the tiny hilltop town of Amatrice are becoming increasingly complicated. More than 1,000 aftershocks have hit the area since Wednesday's quake. On Friday morning, one with a magnitude of 4.7 damaged key routes into the town, making access by road almost impossible. This morning, with the last quake, the bridge seriously collapsed. The street at the top of the village is also temporarily closed, so we are completely isolated. All the engineers and the civil protection workers and the army are now working to restore at least one route. Italy declared a state of emergency in the region as civil protection teams resorted to bringing supplies into the quake-hit town on foot. An estimated 2,500 people have been left homeless by the deadly quake. And the town, just last year, voted one of the most beautiful in Italy, now lies in ruins. Residents have been returning to pick up possessions. I met Claudio, who tells me he came back to collect a missing family member. I thought the dog was underneath the ruins, but this morning they called me because he has the microchip, and they told me, look, Someone found your dog. Did you manage to, to find anything else to retrieve any more of your possessions? Nothing. Only the pajamas I was wearing. Nothing else. No slippers, no shoes. Everything is underneath the ruins. I don't have documents. I don't have money. I don't have my bank card, my credit card, nothing. Now we try to understand how to solve the situation, that's all. Anyway, we try to go on. But for the evacuated residents, rebuilding their lives is not going to be easy. They will likely spend months, maybe even years, in temporary accommodation. And while the government has pledged to rebuild this region, it's hard to imagine how the towns and villages flattened by Wednesday's quake will ever be the same again. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, Amatrice in central Italy.